dangers. Let's talk about this. So, the dangers of a, uh, outsourcing your appointment setting. Here is a screenshot, so zoom in if you can. Uh, hopefully you guys can actually see something now. If, if not, I'll, I'll let you know what's in the screenshot. This is a screenshot that I found from the archives of about five, six years ago. I can't remember when it was. Um, when we first started really taking seriously overseas call centers, six, seven years, I can't remember what it, when it was, but half a decade or more ago. And so we, uh, in Australia, um, I built a uh, Filipino call center, started it off. I did, it wasn't that many. Uh, the results on the screen here, which we'll get into in a sec, was maybe four or five guys. We knew nothing of what we were doing, absolutely nothing. We just thought that it was a magic pill. Now I had trained people before, so I had an upper hand. At this point, I was already four or five years in solar. So I wasn't, I wasn't brand new. Closed a million deals and I'd built up a national solar sales team. Was not brand new. However, outsourcing the appointment setting, with the less control, the overseas factor was uh, new to me. So here's what it says for those of you who can't see the screen right now. This is a calendar of about two or three weeks um, that I found in the old archives. And each uh, day there is between uh, 20, 15 to 30 appointments booked on that. Those were appointments, solar consultations booked for me and like a small a group of people. So we're talking, uh, full appointments, stacked appointments every single day of the week, every single day. But the one metric that I really want you to, to, to pay attention to, and that, and, and that screenshot, for example, is that's what everyone wants, right? When you see that you get so excited because you start doing the math of all those different appointments and you can just close a certain amount of them, all of this. And you're like, yes, exactly what I need. But there's a metric up top that screenshot. Not sure if, if you guys can see that though. And the set, the show rate, the average show rate was 4%, 4%. I'd been in solar for five years, been doing virtual for a very long time. I trained hundreds of people at this point. Me, when I started outsourcing my appointment setting, got a 4% show rate on my appointments, on the appointments that were booked. What's the minimum that I have for standard appointment setting? 50% minimum. That's my bare minimum for if you're doing things properly. 4%. Me, okay, I've been in the game for a, a while at this point. The reason I'm showing you that is just to emulate how fucking difficult this is, man. It's not a matter of pushing a button and getting a stacked uh, calendar full of quality appointments. Now, I've seen this time and time again. I first saw it with my operations back then. You will get a, let's talk about an overseas call center like cold calling. You will get a ton of appointments. And the thing is, we have this uh, dopamine serotonin um, uh, cycle that if we, if, if we get hit with an appointment in our calendar, all of a sudden we feel happy. So there's a few weeks or even a few months that you see these appointments coming into your calendar and you get so fucking excited, you think you cracked the code. But in actuality, what's happened is you have completely lost the plot on what's super important. When you outsource appointment setting, um, well, first off, the number one thing that overseas call centers would do is they'll, they're often not incentivized that much or trained that much to actually optimize for a sit and for a closed deal. So they'll say anything to just get the customer to tell them a time for the next day or the next 48 hours. They'll consider that a booking and they'll pop it into your calendar. And then you say, okay, well, I'll just fix that. How? How are you going to fix that? That is one of the most common things that happens with overseas call centers when you outsource it. And, and when not even if you're just hiring them and you have the training, especially when you outsource one of these call centers that say, oh, we've been, we've know, we know the game, we know how it is. And they have a different monetization model, right? Outsource call centers, often their monetization will be, um, you pay for appointment or you pay for sit or you pay for close. Uh, but because they're an external factor, they're not taking on the closes. They're optimizing to get appointments on your calendar because they know that you get that serotonin dopamine hit of seeing that appointment on that calendar. And so you stick with them for a, a period of time and pay their retainer or pay their fees or whatever it is, right? That is their model. They're not optimized for actual solid appointments that will close. Very, very often it's per set or they'll even say, right? We'll replace the sets. We'll replace the no-shows because their game is just an insane amount of volume and as long as the customer answers the phone then they consider it a sit right that is their model and that'll often have whether it's outsourced or whether you have your own internal team very 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 common show rate is the number one thing you will notice is very very low and if you have already appointment set before 
right? You will see a drastic reduction in show rate and it will be a bloody grind to get it up to any, any near uh, profitability, right? Very, very difficult. It can be done. But again, we're going to get into, you know, uh, the, the do's and don'ts of if you're actually ready to do that. That is the first thing that you have to be prepared for. Show rate is very closely linked to the quality of appointment setter um, and you will get a massive amount of appointments, but very little closable opportunity. Um, messaging inconsistency, another massive danger. So as I spoke about before, you could get people that, that book appointments that sit in. You could hire appointment setters. But the thing is, if you appoint them, one of the most magical things about good appointments is that the same verbiage, the same words, the same phrases, the same concepts are uh, delivered on that appointment setting call, that problem call, as we call it at Virtual Solar Club, that uh, are delivered on the closing call. If, if what's being said on that appointment setting call is different than what's being said on the close, even if the concepts are the same, but the word tracks that are used, the mentality of the person that was delivering that concept to the customer is different, there is a massive disconnect. And very often I'll see that the appointment setting and the closing is so segregated, so vastly segregated, that the closer is often starting fresh, brand new, and nothing that they say is bringing up memories from the appointment setting call with the customer. So there is a uh, 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 thing I, I, I like in sales and human psychology that people prefer consistency over truth. They prefer, if, if someone is very consistent over a period of time, they consider that truth and they prefer it. It doesn't matter if someone else comes in and says one true thing. So if that closer comes in at the end of the call and says, this is exactly what's going on, A, B, C, and D, and they say just truth straight up to the customer, but the customer has another conversation where from day one, someone has lied to them, for example, on the appointment setting call very consistently, and the closer says the exact same thing on the closing call, they will prefer that scenario. Now, the beautiful thing about solar sales, we don't have to lie to anybody to make amazing money and save customers a ton of cash. That's the wonders of the industry. However, it really highlights how important consistency is. So especially if you're in the scenario where you're outsourcing appointment setters or call centers and you have no control over the script, the training, how they say what they say, the words that they use, you are starting fresh right from the get-go on that closing call, on that appointment that they book in with you. But even if you have your internal team that you do control, very often I'll see people just don't link the two. They don't understand what that appointment setting call is all, all about. I've talked about this far too much to go over it again, but it is simply not data gathering. It is setting up the close to be closed. It is closing the customer there and then. It is prepping themselves that if they get approved on the next call, they are going solar and getting a yes out of that customer on that call. It is not a five minute, what's your address, your credit score, your income, when are you free tomorrow? That is, just don't do a call. That's just totally detrimental. Um, and then the next thing is, when you have that uh, outsourced call center or appointment setters, uh, first off, let's go with the ones that you don't have input or control on, like an external team. They will optimize their script to get more appointments and you will not have control over that script. And who are you to come in and say that their script needs to change because that's their business model. But let's go to the other uh, side of things. When uh, you do have an internal team, but you, you weren't prepared to train them, you just don't even know what to do because you haven't really hit the grind um, and, and really seen results yourself appointment setting. Um, your appointment setters, because they're not given as much vision, as much uh, a direction, they will start coming up with wacky stuff. You take your foot off the gas in terms of call reviews, training, pitch practice, especially call reviews. People might say amazing things in training, but then you hear their calls and they're just absolutely whack. Uh, you listen to it a week or two later after taking the foot off the gas and they're saying some absolutely crazy stuff and now you, you, you uh, realize why you weren't closing any deals. So the consistency of this message, when you do start outsourcing, when you do start bringing appointment centers in or call centers, is so damn important. And if you don't have that experience, you cannot provide that consistency because the message that you give, the training that you give them uh, is, is not gonna be worthwhile anyway because the, the infrastructure wasn't built off of results. It was built off of you thinking you know what a virtual solar sales appointment setting call looks like, which I'm sorry to say guys, if you never booked uh, appointments virtually and, 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 and closed them virtually, you don't know what the call sounds like or looks like. You might think you do, but you have no idea. So that experience factor is so damn important. That messaging is so damn important, especially, obviously, if you're considering working with a call center that you don't have control over, that you can't train, that you can't see the script or have input on the script, you have to change your closing processes for what they're saying. And that's just completely backwards. It's absolutely and utterly backwards, right? Uh, the messaging in the appointment setting is make or break. 
Let's move on here. All right, let's keep going through a few dangers here. Then we're going to wrap up with uh, five real actionable steps for what you will need to do if you're looking at outsourcing your appointment setting. Stick with us. Number one, uh, uh, or number three, or five uh, danger, incorrect focus on closing. So another thing, I spoke about this before. When people tell me that, oh, Josh, why don't I just hire a bunch of VAs and get them to do my appointments? That immediately tells me that the value that they place on that appointment setting call is way off. As I have said so many times, virtual uh, appointment setting is the most important thing of virtual solar sales. Closing is, is I'm not going to say easy, but it is certainly not the traditional, uh, oh, closers are beasts, you know, hardcore closer, coffee is for closers. That is such an old school, traditional, uh, washed out uh, strategy, that, that a mindset. This doesn't, it does not applicable to anymore in, in the modern day of sales. Appointment setting is the number one most important piece. And so when you're, this is, I, I, I want to challenge everyone. If you are thinking about outsourcing your appointment setting, my question to you is, um, first off, why are you doing that? Because if the if the the response is oh it's just the grind I want to focus on the important stuff I want I want to close then you you just have things completely different Vir in virtual solar sales appointment settings number one when you're doing in home or door knocking it's reversed right appointment setting is just boom boom in and out neighbors blah 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 4 p.m. tomorrow then in the in home presentation you get your foot in the door and as long as you get your foot in the door you're good to go I I've said many times I can't count how many times I've knocked on the door for an in home appointment. Uh, they said, hey, we canceled with the office. We don't want solar anymore. I say, sorry, I just drove 45 minutes. You guys mind if I use your bathroom? I walk in, I walk out an hour and a half later with a signed solar contract. M many, many times, right? That's in home. When it comes to virtual, it's completely swapped because what does someone have to do to just not answer the door, right? In terms of virtual, just not pick up the phone. A lot, very, very different social pressure. So the roles are completely reversed. Appointment setting is the number one most important piece when it comes to virtual solar sales. So if you're looking at outsourcing your appointment setting because you want to get rid of the grunt work, because you want to focus on the important stuff and just be a closer, you've already, you just don't understand virtual solar sales, right? It is the number one most important thing. And if you are in that state of mind where you understand the importance, then I, at least I believe you should have the infrastructure and the know-how to know that if you are outsourcing your appointment setting, you got to do it damn properly. Because if you know the importance of it and you've seen what a good appointment is and what a bad appointment is, then surely you should know that you're not just going to throw it at some VAs. You're not just going to throw it at some overseas call center that you've never trained, uh, that, that aren't skilled, that you haven't personally had input and control over. Like that would be absolutely wacky. But I, I feel like if you know the importance of appointment setting, you wouldn't do that anyway. Um, so outsourcing appointment setting equals I don't think appointment setting is as important in many cases. Putting a focus on closing in virtual solar sales is an amateur mistake um, and no skilled appointment center who knows the importance would ever outsource appointment setting to unskilled, untrained people slash tools like AI, right? Let's get back to the AI and the automations. It's like, come on, man. I, I covered this a lot before. Uh, AI, we're, we're excited about what we're developing, um, but AI needs data. And if that data uh, th that it's using to answer customers is like sales 101 knowledge, like it's even worse than an overseas call center guy that's never even sold solar before, right? Um, another danger is skipping steps. So this, you know, outsourcing appointment setting is seen as one of the things to skip steps. I've already talked about this today. One of the most common mistakes, like I mentioned, is immediately outsourcing appointment setting, thinking that it is the grind, that you could just hack the system and outsource it. You know, I, I remember when I figured out how much uh, a Filipino or Indian call center was. I remember when I first ran the numbers and thought, wow, I could hire 10, 20 people and I'd barely be paying any money. I remember when, I, when and where I was when I first realized that and thought I was an absolute genius. Um, unfortunately, that is simply not the case and you, you forget the whole point of uh, doing this, and especially when you first start. Um, if you haven't already, uh, well, this would be a training in Virtual Solar Club library, but uh, one of my favorite and uh, well, well received uh, training sessions I've ever done, probably top three, was called The Cold Hard Truth of Virtual Solar Sales. Um, all Virtual Solar Club members watching this, if you haven't already, whether you're in the Virtual Solar Club hub now watching the replay or watching this live, go back, watch that tonight. It, it gives a very, very no BS, straightforward thing of what you are going to expect in the first one to three months. And I'm sorry to say, it's not millions of dollars. It is grinding. It is figuring out the work ethic. And my job at Virtual Solar Club is to help people break through that. And I, I do that on a very, very uh, common basis. But if you haven't broken through that, 
right? If you haven't broken through that grind and understand what that work ethic and the amount of hours you need to do and what certain leads need and certain intros and tonality and the psychology of certain customer types and the end goal that you have at appointment setting calls, how you set up proper closing calls, there's no way in hell you're ever gonna build an outsourced appointment setting team. I am sorry to say. And hey, again, some of you might be thinking, he's wrong, I can do it. That's totally cool. I'm, I'm a rebel myself. I like to do crazy things, but let me just throw this out there again, guys. I've been doing this longer than anybody. I know the game. Uh, I, 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 put, uh, I put the nails in the solar coaster. I helped build that thing, man. Just take my word for it. Just devote for the next one to two months to get through the grind before thinking you can skip a step. Or at least send me a message when you, when you fail and burn so I can screenshot it and show other people. Um, almost every solar pro goes through uh, the, this mistake and laughs when they think back to when they made it. And thinking you can skip steps to get results quicker is one of the first indications you aren't experienced enough actually to outsource, <laughs> to be honest. Um, Cool. So a few dangers there. Let's see. Do we have any others? Yes, a few more. And then we'll wrap things up here with those five steps. Um, external reliance. I already mentioned this before. If you're relying on another party because uh, a solar sales company is simply an appointment setting company that happens to sell solar by throwing it to an outsourced uh, entity, especially one that you don't control, you are no longer a solar sales company. You are just a pawn. They are the solar sales company and you are completely and utterly reliant, reliant on them. And again, if you're skipping steps and don't know how to appointment set, it, set yourself, and then you start finding some success with the call center or outsource appointment setters, you're, you're done now. You're like, you couldn't even imagine probably doing the appointment setting yourself. So what happens if they turn the tap off and something happens? Your appointment flow is gone, you're done, uh, you have no longevity in the industry. Um, and then obviously, the biggest danger is you get zero results. And I've just seen this so, so much. People invest money, time, effort, tears, sweat, uh, work ethic into trying to build a, uh, a outsourced call center overseas domestic without knowing how to do it without being on the grind themselves and they just waste months and months and months of time like I literally I, I see people spend two to three four five months trying to get their call center going without them personally having ever put the grind in cold calling appointment setting and they could have they could have instead taken that time and done it themselves and at the end of the, the two, three, four, five months, they would have come out with an amazing understanding, a very solid skill set on how to book very solid appointments from free leads, cold leads, any lead type, and then done whatever they wanted to. But instead, they hustled after the, the, uh, the shortcut. They hustled after the hack because they thought that was the secret. They thought they were going to be a millionaire. And now they're two, three, four, five months in. They have absolutely no results. There are tens of thousands of dollars down and now they're very depressed and they can't even think about getting on the phones themselves. It's a vicious cycle, vicious cycle. And I can warn people as much as I can, uh, but I can name m multiple people, probably a few dozen people that I, I've told not to do. They go and do it anyway and then they come back to me and say, you were right, I should have listened to you. I don't quite yet know how to stop the cycle without doing it by force. So all I can do is continue to do these training sessions and, and uh, sound the sirens. But that is certainly the, the biggest uh, danger. And uh, look, again, I, I'm not trying to be too negative this webinar. I do want to give you guys a little uh, motivation at the end of this. But if you are in that position where you've never done appointment setting before and uh, you, have, uh, you don't know what that process looks like and you think outsourcing your appointment setting is the key to everything, I'm going to say that I can almost guarantee you will fail. You will not get results. Sorry, I know that's super, super negative, but I, I feel like not enough people in this industry are actually telling people to just shut the hell up and get on the phones themselves. Uh, and they're trying to sell them some magic solution, some magic system that's gonna do all the work for you. Uh, for, for all those who are not in Virtual Solar Club, uh, if you do join Virtual Solar Club, you'll notice the very first damn thing that we say is get through the training, get through the script, get leads, put them into a dialer and start talking to customers. That is the first thing that we tell you to do. There is no shortcut to this, okay? So zero results is a massive danger and unfortunately a very, very common danger.